Hey you guys, it's Jessica here. My username is Jessica Expanded. Um, I'm just coming on here because I forgot to mention a few things in my video yesterday. So I just wanted to do a quick video um, sharing those things with you because they're pretty exciting and um, kind of big things in my journey. Um, starting off my journey, I think. I think they're kind of big. But anyway, first of all, I mentioned my scale um, my new scale, the sparkly scale, the other day. Um, so I wanted to just show you guys what it looks like. Isn't it cool? Whoa, sparkly. I love it. So I bought that because I thought, you know, I only weigh myself once or twice a week, and I thought it might just make me happy just to step on a sparkly scale. I don't know. I don't think that will really work, but uh, it's worth a try. And it's a good scale. It match, matches up with my old scale. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I'll just put that right here. Um, another thing is I started a challenge with myself. Um, I wish I had told you guys sooner because you guys could have started as well. Or maybe if you've been working out already. Um you can count it, but uh, starting August 29th, um, I said I'm going to do 100 workouts in by January 31st. So that's 100 workouts in 125 days. And what that means is that you have to be consistent about working out. And that's my biggest problem. I could work out seven days a week, no problem. But then I'd stop and I wouldn't go for two weeks. Um, so what it equals out to be is 4.5 workouts a week. And obviously you can't, you don't count a 0.5. So you do either four or five um, workouts a week until January 31st. Um, if you... You know, if you have one week that you do three workouts, you have to make up for it the next week or or else it'll just pile up and you won't be able to do it um, by, the, by the end. Um, so for me, what I consider a workout is either 30 minutes of high intensity sweating workout. So if I ran for 30 minutes, I would count that as a workout. Um, 45 minutes of moderate working out, like elliptical or really fast walking or um, just something that gets you to sweat but it may not be um, it's not as high intensity as the 30 minute or an hour um, if I went on an hour long walk and I walked I don't know, three miles in an hour um, I would count that as well um, I probably do moderate a moderate moderate workout for an hour but um, you know just just to put some limits on it that's what I'm I'm doing that's what I'm counting as a workout so I had I already did three workouts and I have 97 left to go by January 31st if you guys want to join me in doing that just write your log and what you do every day or when you work out um, and try to hit that 100 mark. Um, and you know what? I'm doing it not as a, you know, because it's one thing that I can control is how often I work out. You can't control the number on the scale. You can try to. You can do your best. But sometimes the number on the scale is not going to show you what you want. Um, however, if you work out, you're doing something good for yourself no matter if you're losing weight or not. Um, so I thought that was a really good goal to set for myself. Um, and the third and last thing is I got a farm box. Yay! I'm so excited. It like, it came on my doorstep on Friday and I like opened the door and I was so excited. Um, let me show you the box that it came in. So it came in a box like this. So that's a pretty big box. And I'll show you what I got in it. Um, 
because it's really exciting. So what the company that I went through does is all organic, all locally grown. Um, not locally as in San Francisco, but within the area. And, um, and it's all fresh. And it's, uh, I, you get to set it up however you want. I'm doing the smallest farm box they have, um, which is $25. And um, it kind of switches up every time you get it. And um, I set it up that I get it every three weeks. Um, some of the stuff I'll juice, some of the stuff I'll eat. Um, and you can actually go on the website and have an exclusion list. So things that you absolutely do not want. Um, I didn't put a lot on my exclusion list because I want to try new things and, um, and like get things that I wouldn't normally get, you know? So, um, the only things I excluded were, um, collard greens, um, and mustard greens because I don't use them for anything and they're not really that great to juice and I can't cook them because I can't deal with the texture of them um, so I excluded that from my list but everything else I'm getting um, so let me show you what I got in the farm box this month or this three weeks so I got these beautiful uh, tomatoes they're so pretty and I got three of those uh, two onions which is kind of boring I don't know why I would get an onion it's just you know, you all, you only put onions in things, so you can't really taste, like, how great an onion is. Um, and then let me go to my fridge for a sec to get the rest. Carrots. I juice carrots a lot, but when they're fresh like this, I'll probably make a, um, look how green that is. <laughs> it looks like hair. Um, I'll probably make a dish out of it. Radishes, a little bunch of them. I like radishes just to eat. By themselves, raw. And I also got two pears. I'm not really a fan of pears, and these ones are actually really hard, so I'll wait until these ripen up a little bit, but um, I'll probably juice those, because I like pear juice. I just, I don't know why I don't like pears. Maybe I like them now, if I try them again. I got two pears. I got these plums, which I love. I love plums. Um, I got about five of those, and my favorite, I got a bunch of kale. So yeah, I think that's so exciting. Um, I am just like, I don't know, I look forward to my next one already. Oh, oh, I missed it. I got this gigantic melon. Look how big it is. It's literally like bigger than my head. Look at that. It's like the size of my head. I can't believe how big this melon is. Um, and uh, it's a cassava melon, a cantaloupe. So I probably won't be able to eat all of this myself, so I'll juice it because cantaloupe is really, really good in juice. So that's all, and I hope you guys are having a good, safe weekend and have a great time on your long weekend and enjoy, and I will see you all later. Okay, bye.